In this episode we are going to start building our site and also cover the topic of basic routing. Okay, so currently our site looks like this, right? Uh, so we want to delete all of this, uh, create our homepage, just it's just going to be text, don't get overly excited, I'm not going to design anything. And uh, then we are going to create a header and in that header we are going to create a menu and we are also going to create some pages uh, to show you how routing works with Nuxt. So let's get started. So first of all I'm just going to go to my code editor and right now I'm in my index.view uh, file. Uh, from here I'm just going to delete everything. So script. Uh, I'm just going to delete everything in the style and leave only the container so that our content can be uh, centered on the on the page and in that container I'm going to delete everything except for this and do width of 960 pixels. Okay. Uh, and uh, also I'm just going to delete all of this right here. We are probably getting errors right now because we are calling the uh, unimported component. But never mind that. So I'm just going to delete everything here and do this is a home page. Save this, check it out in the browser. Okay, so this is a home page uh, right here. Now, what I want to do is I want to create a header. Of course, header is going to be present on all of our pages. And to do that, I'm first of all going to go to components and in components, I'm going to create a file called header.view. Remember, this is just like uh, using the uh, view CLI. You just add components. In that component, you do template. Uh, let me make this bigger. So template, uh, do something like div right here. This is a header header and of course because header is going to be present on all of our pages what I want to do now is I'm going to go to layouts and go to the default layout and as you can see we have some stylings right here and also uh, this template. Uh, everything that is showing up on these pages uh, is going to show in this next component. So uh, whatever we have in, let's say, in our index.view, uh, it is going to be shown right here. So if we want to add a header right here, we want to put it uh, above the actual content. But before we can add a header, we need to import it. So we do script. And this, if you ever worked with Vue, this should be very familiar to you. Uh, this is just like working with Vue CLI. First of all, we want to import the header. So import header from components header view, right? And we want to define it right here. Okay, so we imported that header and now we want to display it above our content. So we just add it right here. Header, save it. Of course, you would do the same thing for footer uh, or whatever other components that you want to display on all of your pages. You would add that to the layouts default that view. Save it. Uh, let's check it out in the browser. So as you can see, this is a header. It works. It's right here. I just want to put it to be in the center and to be in the center, we need to go to the header and put it and add actually a class of container right here. So once you see or when I write, uh, if I get double O's or double E's, just remember that I have a screwed up MacBook Pro keyboard like a lot of people. So that's why I'm getting this and this. So screw you Apple. Uh, these computers are too expensive for this to happen. Anyway, I don't want to rant right here. Uh, 
Okay, so let's just take a look at that page. So this works, this is great. So we have our header, uh, we have some kind of content that we wanna show. Now, the next thing I wanna show you is the actual routing uh, for a Nux.js. So we are going to create a few pages and then we are going to create a menu for those pages. So if you take a look at the documentation for routing of uh, Nux.js, you will see that Nux.js automatically generates the view router configuration based on your file tree of view files inside the pages directory. So what that means is uh, that we can just put the pages into the pages directory and the Nuxt is automatically going to generate our routes. So let me just show you how to do this. Uh, if we go right here, I'm going to set up a few pages. So you go to the pages directory and index.view is our home page. So let's say I want to create an about page. So I would create a new directory about and in that directory I would create index.view file. Right? Okay, so we have that right here. Let me just uh, write something in it. So template Okay, so this is our about page. So let's create a contact page, of course. So new file contact. And of course, contact slash index dot view. Actually, let me just copy this. So this is the contact page. And let's say we want to have a product page with two products as sub pages. So what we would do is we would create a new file and that file would be called uh, products, products uh, index.view. This would be our first file. So this is, this would be the root of our products. Uh, and this is going to be products. And let's add two products in it. So let's say we are selling umbrellas and watches. So what you would do, you would just go uh, into products and in the products, you would create two new view files, uh, which would be called watch and umbrella, for example. So let me just create it right here. So watch that view and umbrella that view, right? Uh, I'm just going to copy this. Okay, so let's take a look at our file structure right now. So we have about and index view contact with index view in it. And then we have products and in the products we have umbrella and watch and also index that view. So what this is going to generate uh, well, actually, we can see what this is going to generate if you go to this direct directory called dot next. Uh, please don't change anything right uh, here. So in this directory, you shouldn't touch it ever. But if we take a look at the router.js file, uh, let me make it bigger, you can see our generated routes right here. Let me just find them. Okay, so here are our routes, right? So we have about route, we have the contact route, we have the products, and then we have products slash umbrella and products slash watch. So this is the basics of uh, basic routing in uh, Nuxt.js. Uh, so as you can see, you don't touch the router, you just set up the pages and then the routes are generated themselves and then they work. Now we are going to create a menu in our header.view file, uh, which is going to link all of our routes. So in our header.view, I'm just going to add a UL tag with an LI tag in it. And in that LI tag, I'm just going to add <coughs> something called a nuxt link, uh, which is going to link to a uh, homepage. Right, and we just do home right here. And that's about it. So this is the way you would link pages uh, on your site. So this one is going to link to home and this one is going to link to about page. Okay, save this. Let's take a look at it in our browser. 
as you can see now we have home and about of course i screwed something up right here because i actually don't want both of those links to be in the li tag one li tag but in two li tags save this check it out so we have home okay so we are on a home page but if we click on about now we are on a, on about page so now i'm just going to paste in all of the other links because i don't want to do it by hand and i already got them right here so as you can see now we have uh, the link to our contact page uh, then we have the li and in it we have a link to our products page and then in that li we have a ul because this is a sub menu or sub pages so uh, we have uh, the link to products umbrella and products watch and if we save this take a look at our site uh, currently we are on a about page but if we go to contact and we are on a contact page this is the products root page umbrella page watch page and of course home as you can see super easy so before we finish this episode i just want to show you one more thing and that is what is going to happen once we generate this site uh, right now i showed you in the previous episode but you can only see the index.html file uh, it will be interesting to see what is going to happen now that we have a few more pages on our site so i'm just going to go to my console uh, uh, cancel out of this and just do npm run generate okay so this is generated now and if we take a look at our code editor uh, you can see that we have this dist folder right here and in it uh, we all of course have this index.html file which is going to be our home page but as you can see for every page that we edit we have a new directory so about with index.html in it contact with index and then you have products with also subdirectories so that we can have a nice url structure when we are viewing this site remember uh, bottom line or the result of this site is just going to be a pure html site which you can put on any server you want Okay, so this is it for this video. Remember, everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.